Hey, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're kicking butt. Um, so we're going to be going over something that uh, I actually get the most amount of questions about. Most amount of, hey, would you explain how this works? I'm going to go ahead and get chat up. Um, today we're going to actually be covering blueprints, generating blueprints, skills, I mean specific skills that you get especially from certain things. And um, where blueprints come from, like where do I get the blueprints, what the crap am I doing with all these blueprints, I mean, it's a big mixed bag, right? And so a lot of people don't know actually where a lot of the items and stuff like that come from, where, where am I even getting the blueprints, right? And so I'm going to explain the vast world of blueprints, blueprint generating, and some of the skills that go into some crafting and uh, some skills that you get from things you wouldn't know and how to get some skills cheaply that you definitely would not know that are highly valuable skills. So where to start, right? Okay, so here's where we're going to start. What blueprints generate blueprints? And I mean like, say you're going to want to pop a bunch of blueprints and i i mean i'm not a blueprint popper for every type of blueprint so i'm not gonna try to tell you all of them um just so you know but we are going to go over some major ones so let's take this generic leather texture that we're going to run today and we're going to go through i'm going to show you which blueprint i'd run if i were an armor dude i'm going to show you which blueprints i run factually i'm going to explain that a blueprint has the ability to pop a list of blueprints within plus or minus four levels of itself basically right not a big deal but you're not going to get a tier six blueprint pop from a tier one item now i'm going to switch this over so we can see all kinds of stuff and uh see my screen i'm going to pull up that generic leather blueprint i'm going to show you the list Later on when we do the run, you guys are visually going to see this stuff. I'm also going to actually show you today um, some other little things that, that you might not know, like which things come off of other things. Generic leather texture BP entropia. Okay, watch this. Generic leather texture BP entropia universe. We're going right here. So as you're going to see, boom, this is what goes into it. This is what it looks like. This is what it drops. This is what it drops from. So small list of what it drops from. Watch this crap. You guys will be ready for this. And I'm going to note to self, you guys, or note to you guys, I guess. Let's pop this like this so it, you guys can see it better. Um, as you can see, giant freaking list, right? So I'm going to tell you, I have done super, super well, specifically with that blueprint on many a planet. And I mean many a planet. Okay, so let's move on, right? Because not all of you guys are interested in the texturing part. Although I will show you in a little bit why you might would want to be. Now for components... We're not going to start there. We're going to start here. I'm not a giant, giant armorer dude. If you look, the Pioneer Glove Blueprint, iron and oil, not a lot of stuff goes into it, correct? Everybody's good with that? Okay, let's check this stuff out then. Let me make sure. Yep, got it. I was a little bit worried that my voice wasn't on because I've had mic issues before. Okay, and we're going to go to Pioneer Armor. Sorry, guys. And it was the glove. Yeah, right here. Okay, drops from this. And now I'm going to also explain to you guys, it's in series, right? If you're going for a high level one, 
don't intend yourself to like jump there all at once. But when this finally loads through and stuff, and you guys see the list. So once again, look at the list off of this glove. Now, then you would jump. You would you would be like, okay, now I'm going to work up. Let's say, what is this for right here? Predator, let's see what the Predator gloves, right? Let's check this Predator gloves. Because the goal of in crafting is that, See, and they don't have the what drops from running Predator gloves right here. But I can guarantee... Oh, see, this is this is not a good one to have to, have to run, guys, unless you're selling these. Honestly, though, Predator armor sell. So if you even got to this point, you're already, you're already selling stuff. So as you can see, there's a lot of blueprints dropping... I'm not going to craft all those. If I get a blueprint I already have, I'm going to sell it. It might shock you guys to know, but many blueprints have a actual good value. Like, really good value. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, the one we'll be running today, we'll get some stuff. It's not going to be massive. Let's go into tailoring. There's several basic pattern things that, that will pop things um, this Lesser Elysium pops the crap out of stuff, you guys. It's sweat and Listerium. I pop stuff on tons of planets with this thing. Let's look at this. I'm always forgetting how to say it. Lesser Elysia. Elysia. Yeah, that's it. Now, this Lesser Elysia, I believe this blueprint comes off a of next island. This is not my only one I would run. you got to be on the right planet. Anything that comes off of a specific planet, right, you got to be on that planet to pop it. So you're not going to get some of this stuff on certain planets. But I think you guys are seeing, hey, yeah, that's a whole crap load of stuff I could get by just running a giant run of Lesser Elysia. Right? Okay, so that's not the only one. Let's look where else. There's some basic shirt I use too in here. Well, the shoes pop a bunch of things. I'm not a, I've only done a few runs on the clothing. Let's get some stuff. Um, I got this from somebody, guys. Oh, this is a trade, and it was already worked up a bunch. I don't know what they were trying to pop, but they used this to pop something. And uh, then I got this this from them. But I never inquired to what they had done the run for. You know what I'm saying? And so this obviously pops some. I'd obviously also have to be in ancient Greece and really, you know, harvest the crap out of some. There's, there's a pair of shoes, though, guys, that's used to pop stuff. There, there's just a lot of... On the clothing line, I'm going to tell you, I don't have those all down, so I'm not going to... Not going to pretend on that one right there. I do know Lesser Elysium and the shoes that take those. Uh, where are these little shoes? Let's type in shoes, right? Yeah, these shoes right here. People will run runs of these. I haven't ran a bunch of runs of these. Let's look at this. Let's look at the list, right? Manel shoes. Anybody want to see the list? Yeah, you guys do. Okay, good. I never know if you guys actually care about this stuff, so that's why I try to check out. Yeah, that's what I'm meaning. I mean, two, two else. Sorry about that. I don't think that's that good a list. Guys, this is not what I would do. That's not. Maybe it's these urban pants or something like that. That's a good list. So don't do the Manel shoes, guys. That's The Lesser Elysium's killing this, too. Unless you're looking for these Riley boots. What are Riley boots? What the crap is this? Oh, now this. This is a blueprint you might want, though. This is probably a sellable one. It drops some reasonable stuff. Storm jeans. What the crap is this? Oh, guys, seriously. 
I even got a picture? Oh, so they're like jean jeans, guys. Okay, I just wanted to know. And that drops from both the Urban Pants and the Riley. Okay, so that, that's good to know. That's, let's get to the next section. And it took me a long time to find out, hey, what the crap do I want to, to, to run a run of to pop what, right? This was not an overnight thing. Now, guys, on the components, I'm going to tell you, it's a giant amount of crap. Um, this is one where I, I'm not as, as, hey, let's jump on trying to tell you. For one, you want your explosive projectile um, crafty, crafty ones, right? That's a flat out. Um, for two, like some of these are very specific to planets. Th this is all stuff that we get that's limited, that we save up stacks of for specific reasons or to sell to brokers that are bulk buyers. And there is a bulk BP buyer. There's actually multiple in this game. One of them's name is like bulk something. It's like literally his bulk is in his name. And he'll straight up, even if I put him in the auction, if it's a big, big, giant, hey, I just got a fresh inventory of 1,000 BPs or something, he's probably buying it out. And honestly, once you're getting like a whole like, this is as many of those as I would need the rest of my gameplay, those sell well, just so you know. Um so, like, any of these BPs, like uh, the ganja seeds and stuff like that, those these are planet-specific. They have to pop. Uh, I don't remember this specific blueprint right now, guys, so let's not even... So, this is a good blueprint, but not great. Basic sensors, if you're going electronics. Let's show you this. Okay. Oh, basic filter, too. Absolutely. If you guys run the basic filter blueprint, I'll show you the basic filter. Huge, huge freaking list, guys. Here's your basic sensors, though. And I'll show you the cost of them. They're not horrible. And look at the list that you could get. And so these luck potions and stuff like that, luck potions, any of the potion stuff, guys, you have to be on... Uh, Rocktopia to get that stuff, okay? Now, next. Um, let, let's say you guys want to do metal, actually. I think this is a metal blueprint. Okay. This is a metal blueprint. This is this is commonly done and the basic filter. So, let's look at the basic filter first. Long ago, this would be a really good one to run because you could get EP blueprints off it, the EP1. Uh, that's not a thing anymore. That's not going to happen. You're not going to get them. But watch this crap on what, what the basic filter. So you just get a crap ton of Listerium and oil. And I mean a crap ton, right? And then you just run it. And you're going to get a random... By the way, these rolled smokes, that's also... The, only going to happen on Rocktopia. And there's other things in here that are only going to happen on like Arcadia and stuff like that. By the way, I really do need a Mechanometrics Adapter 1 and 2. I've never got one on any run. I don't, I mean, like, if one of you guys have one, I'd like to talk to you. I'm sure somebody out there does, but maybe not. They're very rare. Um, but that's a huge amount of blueprints, right? Let's look at the sheet metal. Sheet metal is more rand. It's expensive to run out. I'm not going to recommend that for necessarily, but for starting, especially. You know, like if you're just starting out, this is more expensive and it's not really the best one. But look at this list on it. And you're going to end up only getting to recoup because this is a very aggressive market, this sheet metal market. Super aggressive. So look at this giant list, though. Good list of stuff. You're going to randomly get some of the stuff way more. Obviously, you got commons and rares. You guys, if you're going to really do the crap out of this, you're going to want to do big enough runs that you can see what's obviously common. Okay, 
on a run, the thing where you get like 90 of them and uh, literally like one a week sells for a pet, I guarantee you, you're not the only one getting 90 of those. And if only one of them a week sells for a pad, putting that into the auction house is a horrible idea, guys. I mean, like, yes, you could be the one a week guy that sold it and they got full one pad value on that. Your goal isn't to be playing with things that will get you one pad. That's like straight up not the goal. So, like, what you want is things, and we bought a bunch of stuff, but we'll show you this. You got existing bids. You want things to where it's at least going to be 7, 8, 9 pad, or like they're going to have to buy that crap out by a chunk. Let's see. Emetrix PC30s. I'm, I'm opening bid is 54 pad, and that's for 270. These will sell, by the way. That's actually cheap. I'm being nice on my sell right there. So the BC30s are super expensive overall. Um, the other things we're always going for, guys, we're always attempting to get recyclers of any kind. So let's go down past components because, honestly, the component thing, because there's different directions with components, it's a huge thing. If you're trying to get into components and you have a specific thing, I would suggest using the wiki, pulling up some blueprints, Honestly, the wiki is totally at a loss once you get to like f level four tier, I mean, fourth tier, fifth tier blueprints. They don't have a clue what you're going to pop. I mean, like you have to just know if they don't know, like it's just how it is. OK, so here's the one I'm going to show you on. Uh, do I have one that I go for as an attachment? I do actually sometimes, but guys, I don't pop as many of my attachments as I'd, I'd want to say. Sometimes I negotiate for my attachments. I, I run the Terra amp. I've ran the attachment Tecmo Gizmo. That, that's actually where I get my stuff on this this level is the Tecmo Gizmo. Is I've got a lot from it. Now I have good lists on that, guys. And so I can't really show you that. So this Finder 1... Which honestly, I'd tell you, I actually would tell you to, I prefer preferences on this finder too, probably. That's crappy markup though. I don't like it. I don't like being heavy involved in stuff with 5% markup, guys. Yeah, see this, this level one at 9% markup, that's more my cup of tea at this point. Once we get down to where we're at five percent markup, that that that's that's too aggressive. That's that whoever's making them has closed the window on that, and they're not trying to make money. They're trying to make it and 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 own the market. I'm not saying they don't make money, but let's just be honest that that's a significant. I know maybe maybe it's fine. I'm not going to argue with it. I I'm not in the. Uh, this market, I only make um, Athena 2s, and that's it. I don't make the rest of that stuff, guys, for, for that kind of stuff. Let me get this up. Well, that's not true. I, I'll custom order make some stuff, too. I got a, a thorough list, obvious, of, of this kind of stuff. But per Predominantly, you guys, I attempt to keep within Athena's, and I'll show you why. Terra amps, I'll make them too. You can see I have all the stuff on hand for a Terra amp, but the Terra amp we're gonna get better markup. The Athena's, it's the same thing. The Athena's we're definitely gonna get nine percent markup, and and that's in here. The Athena doesn't have a massive impressive list though, so let's keep with this uh, level one finder amp, right? Okay. And then we'll go over. Ah, see, they don't even have the list. Okay. So, honestly, maybe next time I decide to run some of those, we we might have to... Rec I don't know. We'll, we'll decide on that. 
it pops other amps though guys like if you're on a, a planet and you're just sitting there making your own finder amps and stuff like that you're you're gonna pop some amps i i i'm not sure why they don't know what ones furniture now furniture's huge right guys so all of this asian stuff that's way cool that you're going to want to be, and for a whole bunch of uh, these uh, counters, displays, and stuff like that, those are all specific planets. The Asian stuff, it, it really got popped from Arcadia, and I'm going to show you what I used to pop on Arcadia. So I've got different things. So let's say you're on a generic planet, right? That generic planet, you're just like... Hey, I don't know what I'm going to get, but I want to get some stuff. You're running your basic butt joint. Your basic butt joint, I'm going to show you this. Basic. I hope that that's correct. But yeah, basic butt joint. Maybe they know about this. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the basic butt joint. Um. It pops more than, than that by a long ways, actually, guys. This is absolutely not accurate list at all. Okay, so... I'm just... Yeah, the basic butt joint pops much more than that. Especially if you're on planet Tulan. If you're on planet Tulan, it will pop you some stuff. I've popped some stuff on... Um, Cyrene. I pop good stuff on Cyrene, by the way. Um, but I, but Planet Tolan or Tulan, definitely you're good on this. This is this is a bad list. This is not accurate. Don't don't go with that necessarily. It pops more than that. I'm just gonna let you know. Basic butt joint runs are kind of expensive. They're not the cheapest because you gotta get all the stuff. Here's what I will tell you. You're, it's all this wood stuff, right? And if you guys don't know about why you should tree harvest, you should tree harvest. Like, tree harvesting is super important. It's like all the skills of your dreams and then some. Okay, so let's watch this. Boards. I'm going to be upset. These are all... Well, I'm not upset. I'm actually having an amazing day, guys. Um, these are all from Planet Arcadia, right? I know you guys are like, holy crap. And so I have ran some stuff on Arcadia too. So here's the deal. I've ran blueprints on Arcadia. I just kept all the creatures pretty much in a virgin state so that when I wanted to hardcore codex, we could buckle down and we could strip away some serious points. But because I found out, hey, there are specific blueprints that I really wanted, like all those cool Asian furniture blueprints, right? I went there, I got the blueprints I wanted, and then I ran runs on them. So let's look at this oiled uh, Maluka board, correct? Yeah, that's what that is. And by the way, you could basic bed joint on... Uh, I feel I'm spelling that wrong. Hold on. I'm going to move this slightly to the side so I don't have this all... Uh, Badly spelled in front of all of you. Oh, I forgot to hit ports. Okay, so straight. And by the way, I have not ran. Hey, how you doing? I hope you're having a great day. I have not ran the oil Maluka boards on any planet other than Arcadia. I can tell you, you get a better list than this. I mean, these are for sure there. That's where I got my retail counters. I'll show you my retail counters. Well, well, I'll show you them after we go through this. So retail counters are off of this. This is why I can make all the fancy, like, this is the stuff for, like, stores. That's why my store's fancy, guys, right here. So let's go to the Acer boards. And you see how this is a... Oh. Um, I might not have one on me, but let me check up in my thing. And if not, I'll order them in, guy. Uh, I'll order in the stuff and we'll make one right now. But let me just finish this section and then we'll cover that because that's actually fascinating too.
Let's just make one. Hold on. I'm probably good anyway. So all of these boards, they have a giant list. So let's say that that's for furniture right now. It's basic butt joints, all of that stuff, blah, 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 right? So we're just going to go here. This is all you have to do. You go weapons. I'm going to also, at the same time, I'm going to tell you what weapon thing I do use. So if you guys are generating weapons, hold on. We're going we're gonna to generate a weapon first. Okay, we'll go to Osmonds. Go to these. Now we're going to interplanetary order. Somebody's going to have basic targeting ships, not on this planet. What we're going to do is, and if you guys didn't know about this, this might actually help you. So don't fly over space with large amounts of stuff. It's dangerous. I wish all these guys would have a little bit more. This is a good amount. I'm going to pull this guy's full amount right here. All together, this is going to cost me 61 pad. We're going to pull that in. It's automatically going to appear here. Don't worry. we I've been fulfilling a whole bunch of these orders. So I might have the stuff to make Osprey Matrixes in Osprey. Let me see about this. Let me enter this in real quick. If I have the stuff to make those here, I'll make them over ordering them. Oh, we do not, guys. Let's order those in. You always got to check this stuff. Don't worry. Sirene has all this stuff. I manufacture the stuff on Sirene, too. We're going to order in enough that it matters, though. You know what I'm saying? We're not... We're going to go 55. Totally okay. I use these on a constant basis, guys. And so this is absolutely worth getting. And I don't want to fly up right now. Just ordered those? Yeah. Okay. Then we go like this. Always make sure you got your order. Matrixes. Okay. Off order. Um, Phil, that's a pretty good amount of matrices, guys. Okay, and we're going to instant them to us. Okay, if you guys don't know... Oh, it's okay. Let's get some up. You're, you'll make the points, bro. Watch this. You're going to make the points, and I'm going to show you why. After I'm done going over these blueprints, I'm about to do a two-hour run on a basic um, leather blueprint, which we're going to generate a bunch of blueprints. And then I'm going to use that basic leather, and I'm going to show you the skills on that too. So here's how this works. We click that. We don't actually use residue, and here's why. is because you can just repair these because these are permanent. Now, the fun thing about this gun is no matter what, we're going to global. I mean, like, when we succeed. Obviously, we got recycle on our thingy-majiggy. Boom, we've got a global, but we have to check it. It's 193 tier rating. That is your gun, bro. Okay, hold on one second. I'm going to click out of this. Get those points. You'll have them soon, don't worry. Got it. Okay. So you'll have those points in just a second. Now we're all the way to weapons. Obviously, you guys see how I love weapons. Weapons are my favorite thing in the world. For one, some of the... And I know that there's this situation with everything. And somebody that's a huge hardcore armorer will be like, well, for two. But for one, on weapons, some of them are vastly valuable. Especially the blueprints, right? Like, not even just a little bit valuable. But let's say you're wanting to get into it, right? Let's say I would tell you right off the bat, I know that they have those new things too, the gizmos. The gizmos are amazing. They're not a joke. But look at this. I would tell you, you this jester, anybody can get this jester blueprint, right? 
just a blueprint. It's as basic as it gets. Okay, so this is going to pop within a huge tier. See, I, I haven't even started pushing the Gesture 3 blueprint yet. I don't even know what I'm going to get off of it. I'll get some stuff. We'll, we'll make a run of that. That looked expensive, though, so I haven't jumped there. We have jumped to here. I got good stuff. Good stuff off of here. Oh, yeah. Modified D1s exist. All kinds of stuff exists that nobody knows about. You guys, this is the sad thing. Jester 5s exist. It's okay. The gun list of what exists, and I don't have most of the weapons. Here's the problem. I don't have most of the weapons, and yet there's all of this stuff. Okay, I'm going to check this, but I usually don't like checking this kind of stuff during the thing, so... Oh, I'll show you the modified right now. It, it's actually not as impressive as I want it to be. Um, okay there. It's very specific to what you're going to be hunting. It has exceptional durability, and it's low rate. Um, I don't know. This is probably perfect for somebody, but it's a modified blueprint. See how this is like this set up? It's a normal gun. Yes, watch. What they're doing is they is your this is super expensive. It's it's a trick. Oh yeah, all of this is OG as crap, man. So for weaponry, yeah, I've got OG stuff. Um let's let's look at this. Get rid of that. So guys, there are and I'm missing most of the weapons. But with me even missing most of the weapons, there are six pages of just stuff, right? And look at this, right, guys? This is what I'd like to show you, how missing this stuff is. I've got a bunch of Tier 1 ones, right? But see, I only have one Tier 9 even weapon. Only one Tier 8 weapon, two Tier 7 weapons. We've got four Tier 3 three i mean two six weapon type blueprints and this is including these type ones and by the way i will let you guys know that there's tier um, 10 11 and 12 weapon blueprints for sure existing in the game already like this right here this is a tier six this thing will devastate some stuff right it's absolutely a fascinating weapon 127 to some, some, you know, like we'll, we'll. Oh, yeah, that's why I always try to tell people like that's a huge, huge part of this game that is absolutely fun as heck. Now, let's look at what the jester will do for you, though, because this is why I run the jester. Everybody would think it's a junk blueprint. I don't even run the jester for the guns, I'm going to TT these things. I'm going to just tell you guys, like, the goal isn't the actual gun. God, I hope they have the list. Oh, crap. Nah, so the, the, the list is much better than that. Maybe they have a better D1 list. <sighs> Maybe I should contribute in some part to this game and start actually putting down what actually comes from stuff. Oh, my. Okay, so I don't know how I'm going to create and register an account, but one day we're going to be registering an account, I guess, with this thing. Um, I'm going to check the weapon techno gizmo. That's another one. It'll pop blueprints. Well, I have a I have videos on that. If you guys are interested in knowing, like, does it pop stuff? It does pop stuff. I have videos. I've ran this. Okay, this at least they have they have a little of a list. This will drop so much more crap than this. This is not the full list either. I have more than one video on the Techno Gizmos. We ran all the way up to the Techno Gizmo Five on Cyrene. I'm going to let you know what I found is you don't actually want to go vastly above um, 
the order of of that like of three like once we got to four and five and stuff like that on the techno gizmos a lot of the stuff was no longer as super valuable because some of it was starting to get up into that area that you're no longer in the people really are even using that you know what i'm saying because you pop one that's three above a five or three even above a four and that's a tier seven blueprint and i'm not trying to be mean right but like this this 45 right here this bp 45 is only a tier four blueprint and so when you're popping tier seven tier eight blueprints um for one not a lot of people are the right level for um making the subcomponents for that but then for two not a lot of people even you are using that kind of weapon like I find that I make more money off of blueprints that are in the better alignment for the biggest majority of the people playing the game. Not like the, hey, let me just try to get like the most powerful blueprint possible and think I'm going to make money. That, that has not been what I've done. Okay. So we've got tailoring components. We've got attachment furniture tools. We're going to do material textures, vehicles, right? I don't do enhancers, but basically you just get a basic enhancer and you run the crap out of it. You'll pop some stuff. And I, because I don't do that, I don't want to tell you guys the lists of what you would get because that would be a bad choice, right? Okay. So on most planets, and I'll tell you what's the deal, you're going to get a bunch of generic stuff. Speed bikes, vampire things, those are Rocktopia. Spears, um, a few other things, you're going to be on other planets. Slipnears, you can pop pretty much every freaking planet, guys. Um, this is all off of the basic combustor. I'm going to show you the list of what a basic combustor can pop. Don't go and buy any of this stuff until you have went to a planet, ran a bunch of basic combustor runs. By the way, these pirate flags, those are Rocktopia basic combustor. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. This PRX Roadster basic combustor run Rocktopia. Um, grinder beams pop some kind of crazy thing. We'll look them up. I haven't got a chance to do a grinder beam. Oh, I'm I'm always at um what is it called? Holy crap. It's Athena Spaceport, guys. I'm always at Athena Spaceport when when we're pretty much doing stuff. This is our um is um oh, you know, I don't remember what planet I got this off of. I'm going to check. Hope they tell me. Holy. Oh, that's going to be Cyrene, guys. That's going to be Cyrene. This helicopter is going to be Cyrene. So let, let's look at this real quick. It's very important you guys know this. So if you're going to do this, though, guys, go mothership first. Don't just go basic right off the bat with no skills. And don't do it for sure if you don't have blueprint comprehension kicked in. And, and try to get blueprint comp. Seriously, just go work a mothership. Work a mothership and work a monorail until your blueprint comp is like, I don't know, 2,000 or something crap like that. I know that sounds ridiculous to all everybody and everybody's going to be like, well, that's um, it. You don't have to. I didn't. I know that I spent more money than I should have had to spend because I literally like didn't do that. Not everybody is going to do that. It's okay if you don't. Here's the basic combustor blueprint. Let's get to it. Obviously, that goes in a bunch of stuff. Okay, we pop this baby. Look at this. There's a huge freaking list of stuff that you could pop. 
Do you know these warp engines and stuff like that? They're very expensive. I probably have one on me. I could show you what they cost. They, they're not cheap. But see how you could pop a hovercraft. By the way, you're only getting that hovercraft on certain planets and stuff like that. I think I want this one too. It, this might be the one I want. Do they not? Yeah, no, that's not. I want the patrol boat, guys. There's a freaking patrol boat. You guys know about that? Maybe you do. Um, so I'm going to find the basic grinder in here. Grinder. Grinder beam, right? We're going to go to the grinder beam. I'm going to show you something. Why I one day plan on making a run of grinder beams is because I would like to pop a stack of these. And I'm sure that the grinder beam actually pops more than this. Honestly, guys, if we could find what pops the tank. Do you guys know that there's a tank in Entropia Universe? I know, right? So there's a lot of vehicles. I do like to make combustor runs. Combustor runs are where you're going to get most of your vehicle basics. Okay, let's see if they have this tank. A lot of people don't know that there's a tank that you could find the, the blueprint for. So it's not going to be from the combustor. Tons of people have been busting the combustor. What I'll tell you you will get from the combustor, guys, and it's really cool, is you're going to end up getting a whole bunch of Grungan helicopter ones. That's a boosted blueprint. That's good. You know what I'm saying? And stuff like that. Let's look. Is this this is this is one this is the tank right here guys. Seriously, this is lethal as crap. Nobody knows crap about it. But see that, look at that. And so that's a blueprint. It obviously can get a whole bunch of attachments. Oh man, look at all that crap porcupines, itchy itchies. That's going to be your top gun guy right here. Your gunner. Has good armor and stuff like that. I'm not sure what you'd be able to sell it for. Probably a bunch. Medium fighter. Honestly. I've never seen a medium fighter, guys. Never seen that, ever ever seen it i don't know but basically guys you have to work your way up a blueprint into another blueprint that's unique once you're making something that other people aren't making the odds that you drop something that nobody else also has go up since we all know those charts are not accurate once they get past what is it anything you all know that you, you don't want to uh, go based off of that. So we've got vehicles. We covered everything, right? Okay. Uh, you're more than welcome to use your points if you want to. Click away. I will allow you to. Uh, well, not allow you to. I thank you for actually using them and actually having a bunch. It's absolutely helpful. What is this? Oh. Okay. By the way, Bella is on um, Cyrene. And um, she can um, upgrade all kinds of stuff. Like, she has the full capacity to upgrade the Imperium plates the full way through. Like, just in case you... And streams, too absolutely usually pleasant streamer sometimes um killing big things sometimes not so let's look at this oh the other thing that people ask about is what the crap i do about storage guys i usually consistently am running a specific blueprint book and um i stack blueprints of a certain type till they build up as you can tell we're currently down selling some of these stacks of guns that we've built up because I haven't got to take care of them all the way. Now, when I bring them back here, 
this is where we stack them as we I sell them down, which I'm currently in the process of selling down before we go back off world. Now, where I put them when we're off world, and this is I'm going to have to give shout outs here is Sargent, I believe, is who gave me these or got, let me buy them and it gave me a good deal on them. Right. Um, he made sure to hook me up with um, these things. I'll show you what they are. These are Lux Blueprint case um, items. I don't have the blueprint for these, or I would legitimately be already selling these in my store. There's multiple different cases, and I don't know which all ones are. If you see, they allow you to put 25 blueprint books in a thing, and it does not count the, the stuff in your stuff. Like... These are a single inventory. And so I have organized limited books in which I've dyed them or textured them slightly so that I can tell which one is for what kind of stuff. Like this is for attachments that are being built up and carried that are generated on a certain planet. This is for um, like vehicle energy stuff, vehicle servers, stuff like that. And so depending on are are they ones i'm using are they ones that i carry on me to stack it's different okay i leave most things on a planet like we just brought back only the blueprints from cyrene and what i already had here merged them into one. Oh, here let me get you this we merged them into one and then um what happens is um he might be crafting um, what happens is when we merge them into one, I then go through them and I decide, is this even correct, you know, for like the amount of stuff? Um, to to justify it. Now, here's what I will also tell you. If it is like a weapon that I'm currently using to skill, I don't sell it. So like right now, um, I'm using um, long swords, right? We're trying to a li little bit uh, level with long swords. I never sell these because I sell these in my store, right? So it doesn't even matter. I keep these blueprints no matter what. I have 209. I can't afford to not have them for my store. Same with these. I don't sell them. Maybe I would if if uh, I got maybe more than this. 199 clicks is kind of ridiculous, you guys. Maybe I should sell some of those. These are getting about to the point. I like to sell these if we get a stack of about 300 to 500. I noticed the bulk buyer guy buys them like seriously out instantly at that point. These um, CBRs, blah, blah, blah. Those are off Cyrene. Those are a training weapon. I don't sell that stuff. These I should make. I don't know why I don't. They're off Cyrene. Um, I wouldn't sell this blueprint. I would probably make these and put them in my store. Uh, these I probably would sell. I don't think I had enough or something. Because I'm not at BC40s. I'm currently using long blades and some laser pistols and laser rifles in certain zone. This I would sell if it got a whole bunch more. That that margin's too low. You see what I mean? And so basically if it's under a 300% markup, I want a stack of 500. Like just because if it's something like this, this is this is not a big enough stack, but these are probably... Oh, that's crappy. That's not good markup, guys. You don't want to do that. This is not going to be crappy markup. That That's that's inaccurate. People are crazy. If I wouldn't sell it to that. Because that, that's just not even logical to sell that gun at that. Um, maybe this would be more logical. This is more in people's level 32. Well, you got to watch your blueprints. As they build up, you watch their level number. You try to, to sell stacks. 
I would never, like, how am I going to make money with an auction fee if I tried to sell a stack of, uh, let's see, what's something that's a good example? This is a good blueprint to run on ARC, by the way. You pop all kinds of insane stuff. Like these level 70s. 120% markup, right? But what are you going to do with 12 of those? Like that, you're not going to make anything. So like, I have to run enough to actually get a profit off of them for those. Because the, the auction thing is, is a brutal thing, guys. you got to always keep that auction thing in, in your zone. And in all honesty, if you're qualified on a specific weapon or item to make it and you can just make it for the uh, auction houses and stuff like that you might as well just make it for the auction house legit okay so now getting on with the part where we're going to make some blueprints then i'm going to show you how to just jack the skills out of the item we're going to use a 100 percent generic leather texture eventually i am going to jack this up to 100 percent it's going to be an extra one. I'm going to probably either use it for a giveaway or put it in my shop. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, honestly, yet, guys. But it'll happen. I'm going to use 1,500 clicky clicks. That is exactly two hours. It also consistently gives us a good demonstration of what blueprints we could get. It isn't going to get us a vast amount, but let's say three blueprints at least every oh yeah generic temperature oh yeah oh yeah okay so you guys i have videos of me doing generic leather runs watch the tolan one like legitimately and i'm going to show you guys some serious stuff the stuff that i've got off of tolan this is tolan Ancient Moroccan, Spotted Cow, Daisy Blueprints. We're talking crazy stuff, right? Um, golden Flower Blueprints. That thing's so fancy, you guys don't even know, man. I'll show you that thing. Uh, most of these, I went and I, I run the generic leather on planets all the time. I want to show you this golden leather one. I'm going to click this. I'll show you blueprints after we're done. I'm going to click my face out of the way. So while this is going, I can have coffee because it's two hours. And honestly, sitting here and awkwardly looking at the screen for two hours. I'll visit the whole time. You know, but but I, I don't like to just sit there awkwardly. It's, it's just strange sometimes. Okay, hold on. I zap us where we're back to game capture. Generic leather blueprint drops so many guys. It is 100% crazy. And then a lot of people would think that uh, it's not good because here's the deal. Watch this. You have to be level 10 to 13 to start using leather texture, right? You see how I'm only uh, level 7.7? .7? I'll show you this. Now, if as for a texture crafter, though, I'm I'm some other one. I don't know what level I am actually anymore. I don't keep track of this all the time as much as I should. I always have myself listed as a spacecraft engineer or a gardener. If I'm on um, planet uh, Cyrene and I'm um, sweating and swanting um, weeds, I list myself as a gardener. So, material constructor, I'm a 27th level material constructor. Now, I'm going to show you a lot of stuff right here. This is going to get crazy because I'm going to show you also why this is not just like a little thing. So, if we look over here, we've already got the coarse Froto um, texture. I don't use these, guys. I mean, like, I, I already have this, obviously. I, I, I don't need it. So I'm going to likely put this for sale. It's not going to be that common and it will sell because one of them's not going to be in the market. If I were running on another planet like uh, Rocktopia, I would get some mad cool um, textures. Planet Tolan, you get some cool textures. 
next island I've done a run cool textures do you see how we're just pouring in textures here we just got the flannel fabric texture we're already up to two textures right now I did tell you guys get your your blueprint comprehension up first I didn't tell you just jump in here blind just so everybody knows I'm gonna also zap out my face so so that I'm not awkward or forget that I flipped off my camera and this is Hotsy Pop or Cutesy Pops. She's always here. She I don't even know what she runs exactly. I've scanned her before. Uh, she does run some stuff. So see how we're getting blueprint comp and stuff, right? I'm going to make it where we can look stuff up again and show you things at the same time. And we'll kind of watch things because that's important to do. Yeah, video, video capture. That's the wrong thing. Display capture. Oh, guys, I'm a mess today sometimes. Okay, I want to show you this. I don't know why. I, oh, we'll deal with that in a second. They'll correct it. It's okay. Oh, no, 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 not extractor. Sorry, guys. I was trying to hit this. It's already off on it. Oh, good. Okay, so here's what I wanted to show you. Here's the skill list on this, guys. Blueprint comprehension, seven. So it's not even worth doing this unless you've unlocked blueprint comp. Carpentry, five. Material extraction, methodology you have to have un that unlocked i have it unlocked so we're getting it texture engineering is 33 percent of it make textile is 11 percent of it quality sense i don't have that unlocked yet i really want to have quality sense unlocked surface composition i have unlocked um you know basically all all of this stuff is, is goes into it and so it's absolutely a good overall, hey, I'm going to get a broad amount of textile type skills. And then when we go to use the texture itself, right? Let me show you this. I'm going to have to look at what my texture is. Oh, we've got more blueprints, right, guys? So we've got canvas texture. I just forget which one. Ziplex fashion line. No, Ziplex T100. Okay. Okay, Ziplex T100. So when you texture something, it's intelligence, 9% blueprint comp. Industrialist of 6%, which I don't have, guys. I wish I did. Oh, by the way, you know what else you get for, for texture? You get machinery and tailoring and stuff like that. I don't know why they're not on the list. These lists are not accurate, guys. I'm like literally not understanding where, where the disconnect is on this. And I'm not authorized to edit their stuff. But you get tailoring on, on these lists too and stuff. But it's okay. So... Don't go off of the wiki necessarily. Um, manufacturing methodology is true. I'll show you. I'll show you what we get with what we're getting, guys. Let's just go with that. You know you're going to get blueprint comp, make textile, texture engineering. We're going to get a bunch of stuff. But basically you do get carpentry. On some of the textures, you actually get um, some metal engineering type stuff. Some of the textures, no. I mean, but this is a great texture for popping more textures. And so that's what I'm showing you. Now, um, it's more profitable on Planet Tolan. Just so you guys know. So, like, if you get all the stuff there, for one, 
Um, a lot of the mobs there drop basic leather extractors. So, like, say you go tab tab hunt, and that that's legitimately why I'm like complete through that tab tab codex. Is because tab taps drop um, extractors like crazy. And by the way, t that's one of the other things about like knowing which creatures. Say you go to planet Tulan or Tulan and you just decide, hey, I'm going to be a tab tab hunter. And you're really good about it. Uh, basic leather extractors have 187 something percent markup and stuff like that. And so their basic markup, and, but you see, we're flowing blueprints you guys see that so when we throw these in stacks we'll look at what what's the sell on them when you throw them in giant giant stacks they sell in those once a year sells anyway just so you guys know now this is the kind that would sell the prince is really fancy looking guys Honestly, not really sure why somebody would buy the canvas one, but see how we're getting really good hits here that's offsetting some of the loss? Because this is costing us two times whatever this is, basically. So two pack per click plus two times that. So eight pack per click, guys, is what it's basically costing us. So we get beat the crap up right through here. Then we get redeemed through like boom, boom, you know, like all this stuff. And so if you're generating blueprints and the blueprints come in sweet enough, you're good. If we get any of the really good blueprints that are like 20, 30, 40 ped and crap like that, then we're really good. And so, but I've, I, I get more luck on like an expensive, expensive blueprint on other planets and i'll show you why uh like after this runs done because i i can't obviously show you during but like i would tell you if you're wanting to get super fancy ones also if you're low level most of the blueprints you're going to generate on uh, planet calypso are not low level doing ones like they're ones that you'd have to be a higher level to produce um at least for textures, not for everything, but textures, right? Uh, but like the lowest level textures are Planet Toulon. Um, I believe the next ones are Next Islands. And then like all the ones on Cyrene are like level 8 through 15 zone, you know what I mean? But Planet Toulon, most of their textures, you can actually run their textures being like... Uh, a level five texture and at the end of this i'm actually going to show you guys legitimately how to um texture like uh, and we're going to end up having to go back to rocktopia it, it's very apparent that uh a few people would like to have some stuff off rocktopia i'd like to craft some more crafting runs on rocktopia um Besides that, I think I'd like to get a few f cool items for an option for things that we could do somewhere in the game. I don't know. There's a lot of options on Rocktopia. And I have some of the Rocktopian type textures, you know. But they're also, like I'm going to tell you, they're not lower level textures. They're, they're higher level textures. And so, like Planet Tolan has, or Tulan has like really cool textures that you can do at a low level like not a hey i've got to be level 5000 to uh do this which by the way none of them are level 5000 but i mean in the texture world if it's level 15 or 20 or 30 for me it's freaking hard to do i can't do it like it's not even hard to do it's i cannot do it i would just be like contacting somebody which I'm willing to do, but I don't like to have to do that. Man, I hope this guy helps you guys out a little bit at least. You know, like, knowing what, like, it's not random. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, it's random, but it's not that random. Like, and once you know your own secret blueprint, um, like, 
one that you know that you just got and you don't see other people running it, um, but you know something secret pops off of it, that's that's super big mojo. That's like super good power, guys. Just just letting you know. Like legitimately. So like I know for a fact that off of the Rudix kills, which I know nobody pretty much has, uh, which I do run and I make myself one once in a great while, just for the heck of it because it's a ridiculously overpowered low level sword. Um, that's what drops the um, Laser Faust Bandit and the Laser Faust Outlaw and stuff like that. And people never even see Laser Fausts. Like, legitimately, if I pop a Laser Faust Blueprint, it, it, it's, it's going to get... Uh, well, at this point, I might would make it myself. At one point, I would contact people that, like, broker in real rare things, and I would get them to, like, buy it for an absurd amount of money. But uh, maybe I would just make a laser faust myself and throw it in the store. I don't know. It's been a little bit since I popped a laser faust type blueprint, guys. And you're not going to pop one of those off of... Well, I'm not going to say that. Maybe you guys pop it off of, of a random generic type one. But I wouldn't bet on it. And legitimately, who freaking knows what pops off that Force Mesh blueprint that I have? The Tier 9 one, right? We need to start making Force Maces with, for people. You guys need to start ordering in Force Maces. I mean, like, I don't know who all uses one of those. It's actually not that amazing of a weapon compared to what I want it to look like. The one I'm actually trying to get you guys, in which I don't have real good info on it, and obviously I don't know what pops it, is there really is a Nano Katana. I'm not, not really a million percent on, like, why I've always wanted to get the Nano Katana blueprint. I do not have a Nano Katana blueprint. Um, I've wanted to get it for so long, and I haven't really looked at it again for so freaking long that I'm actually not sure if it's even, a, like, the kind of thing that we'd be like, oh, yay, we got a Nano Katana. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, straight up, Nano Katana Blueprint is one of the things I absolutely want to get. Maybe just to carry a nano katana, just because it'd be cool to have a katana. But I mean, like, I was new when I decided I kind of wanted to one day get to that blueprint. And I had no ability to make it at that point. Now, if I got the blueprint, we could actually craft it probably, maybe. I don't actually know, but you know. Okay, I'm going to be silent for just a minute. And, and, and we'll watch this amazing kick and buttness happen. So do you guys also see how I say that the blueprints, though, come... I know I said I'd be silent. Um, in waves. See how we got a flush of blueprints real quick? And now we're just not getting any for a second. And then all of a sudden, we're going to get a flush again. And so, like, about every 500 or so... And by the way, this works on other planets just as well, this generic leather... The nice site works well on this planet for popping a bunch of generic crap, right? And it's a bunch too. But I did not have good luck off planet with it, you guys. The Supra blueprint, though, I have had super excellent luck off planet. Just so you guys know. If you're going to go and, and be flying around, it's the basic leather and the Supra that I actually think for textures are the best. And then what would happen is once I get a texture from a planet itself, like I try to pick one of them out, that I'm going to get enough stuff to make a big run of one of theirs. But I like the one off of the planet to be at least a level 2 or 3 or a tier 2 or 3 texture so that I have a chance to get the lower ones, but I have a chance on getting some of the higher ones too. That's my current strategy, just so you guys know.
yes, I have the, the skull texture. I'll show you what I'm missing. I'm sorry I was eating a brownie real quick. It's freaking delicious. On Tolan, see how my blueprint books changed? Not the Tolan texture books. You guys might not know this. As you perfect a blueprint book, they will change. So see how like this, this is almost perfected blueprint book, but not perfected. Anyone that's absolutely filled will have like boom on it and be all like fancy, fancy. But all blueprints from all planets will slowly start changing as you fill them up. And so this is my Tolan texture blueprint. And it has the, the this on it already, the fancy embellishment. But it's it's not perfected, guys. But every planet texture, every every planet's books, if you start getting more and more stuff, I think the border appears first. Then I think often some kind of like, I mean, like it's multiple phases of stuff that happens. We're missing the Batik texture. The rare. So basically I'm missing five tier five, the tier five textures, guys. That's what I'm missing. Got all the tier four ones. And so I need to go there and, and drop a higher level texture is basically it. But we need five more textures to have uh, Planet Tolan all, all the way done. Which is not a big deal. I mean, it's... But I will tell you that all of them are very cool. There's the skulls texture you're talking about though. Yeah, it's easy to get. This red rose texture, expensive. Nobody ever has it. I popped all of these. This, the hearts texture, queen of hearts texture. You can always sell it. The diamonds texture always will sell. These are almost all pop. This daisy's texture is fancy, guys, by the way. Just so you guys know. All these are actually fancy textures. And you can do these at pretty low level. This golden flower texture is mad insane, though. Like, it's fancy looking. Um, it's also kind of, I remember, maybe expensive to throw together. This is the cow. The, the cow texture. Show you the spotted cow texture I have. We're allowed to get into here. Watch. Whew. I don't like to invade people's avatar spaces hold on so i can show you some textures i have textures on me in here guys so this is a sirenian texture the blue crystal it's very pretty blah 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 this of course we have tons of this this is perpite this makes things very fancy um i do perpite runs anytime we're going to be on um Next Island, absolutely one of the best ones to run. See the learning period on this? You can pop a Perpite Blueprint, easy as crap. Guys, Perpite, excellent, low level. Okay, look at that, five to eight level. You've got, um, I don't even know how to say that, so I'm not even gonna try to. Good markup, easy to make. This is junk, kind of, but I use it sometimes to level or sometimes to fill in a spot on a vehicle um, or something. This cow spotted texture, I don't have enough for us to texture something right now, but it really is cool. It's absolutely not high level. Anybody, like, can basically almost run this texture. Um, this is super high level texture-ish. It's not super high level. It's enough. You know what I mean? I'm not running this. I run these when I do run them just to build it up as a stockpile. Later on, I might actually use that, you know, for something and stuff. On other planets, I have much more probably of a buildup of texture. Because this is, this is not the... Uh, 
this is the planet we bring things to to sell and stuff like that. If I'm not going to get rid of something, I don't, I don't mothership it back. And so we only bring things back to, to Calypso when it's time to clear up our inventories and stuff like that. I do tell you, though, that the amount of textures off of Toulon that are very cool textures is absolutely impressive, you guys. It's like a no messing around. Like if you're low level, you're thinking about getting into texturing and stuff like that. You want to be doing the daily mission over on Next Island. And there's a Next Island daily mission that literally you want to be doing every day. Two of them. I have a video on it from about maybe a year, maybe two years ago, actually. I don't know. Maybe I need to redo that. I could get, yeah, I'll have to maybe do some videos showing you guys where that stuff is, honestly, now that I think of it. So there's texture emissions, guys. And um, they're on the other side of the galaxy. They're over on Next Island. And then all of the, the good textures for low levels, guys, are right there. It's like, you're not going to want to do the texture. You can build up your texturing skill over here. And you can get a bunch of generic textures. But on Calypso, most of the textures you're going to get, you can't run. Like, I mean, like you can't texture that with the texture. You can run them, probably. But they're just not. Like that's fifth level to start, right? That's 28th level, or no, that's not 28th, 7 point some. I would go, yeah, I would absolutely, uh, that's reasonable to, 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 but you couldn't texture it. You could just run it. Uh, that you could do. I've never ran a giant run of flannel fabric, guys. I have no idea what the crap that pops. And that's a low level one. I would bet that that has a lot a list. Just because it's low level, it's a tier one blueprint. And that's some pretty generic crap that that's using, guys. I don't know. That might be a reasonable one to run. I keep to what I know, though. See, there's the carpentry right there. Let's see. Yeah. Hold on. Hitting this thingy, Majiggy. Oh, I'll grab this. How, what happened? Can you ever hit a maximum of these? Oh, join channel. Join channel. That's what we need to do. Did I successfully join the channel? I needed to tell me I did successfully join the channel. Oh, I did. Okay. I'm never sure. I have to double check everything. Like I guess like everybody else, right? Oh. Oh yeah. Most it it is the other planets that prepare you. You have to use the other plants. That you're you're you're. That's not an opinion. I'm a hundred percent gonna tell you that's fact. That that's just fact. You're you're a million percent on that guy, like, not even a little bit. You 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 want to go to the other planets and work your way back here to texture. Like don't don't try to do it off of, off of this planet. For one, I. The amount of drops that you're going to get, go go to Tolon. Just seriously, that's where I would, if I were like starting all over again, I would 100% have started. Um, oh, I agree. I No, I 100%. That's why I'm saying like, no, nah, you want to go to Tolon. 
it's much easier to to get it when you could just farm it plus the dailies and stuff are perfect for low level people you need a lot of dexterity and stuff like that you need all the stuff like that's a good plan for preparing people to be uh texturers and then you want to be using the uh, daily mission over on next island next island's super important guys I know I haven't been to Next Island for a long time, right? So it probably seems like I don't think that that's like one of the core core like, hey, you really need to work this planet. But if you're going to be a texture or a tailor type person, you probably actually do want to go to Next Island. Absolutely some cool texturing and tailoring stuff there. And then in all honesty, guys, um, too long. For furniture crafting and for texturing is a serious, serious planet. Like, legit. It's also good for basic skills. Bunch of, like, pistol skills. Bunch of, like, ballistic weapon skills. Um, I don't know. It's a pretty overall good planet. Excellent planet. All the planets have their own secret, though. That, that's the thing. And, like, if you go to a planet for a little bit, visit with everybody, find out what the best dailies are and stuff like that, you'll find out that every planet really does seem to have its leaning on what it will help you be better at. I mean, and that that's an opinion on that part. Like, I don't know if it's an opinion. I hate to say anything that's fact, you know, like that, but I feel that the, the way that a planet helps you if you're fully engaging with the dailies definitely does shape your character a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And so, but you have to be engaging in the missions. Like if you're not actually engaging in the missions and you're just on a planet generic hunting, then the results, they're, they're all the same. It doesn't even matter at that point, right? You're just generically hunting. But if you then, like, sit there and you're like, oh, I'm going to generically hunt, kind of, but I'm going to make sure I look up the missions and I'm going to stack as many missions as I can. If you did that for, like, a year on any planet, you would notice that the planet itself has a significant shift in a direction if you're really doing the dailies. And so... I don't know, look up the dailies, check out other planets type stuff. You know. Entropia should actually add some more planets. They need to move Calypso into the middle. Move Calypso's moon over Monria, over between Next Island and uh, Toulon. They need a new planet where Calypso was with a new moon. You know. And then uh, another moon needs to be popped somewhere randomly. I don't know where, but somewhere. And they, they all should have massive skews. But one of the planets needs to have mobs that use mind force on people so that we can all start building up our whole, uh, what is what is the defensive anti-mind force skill? Um, is it under defense, guys? It must be under mine force. All right. Hold on one second. Oh, jamming. I don't know. I was not seeing that. Yeah, it is jammer. I was, for some reason, I wasn't seeing that. Yeah, see, my jammer's three. That's bullcrap, right? So, guys, we need mobs that will blast us with psychic powers. That's what we're needing, guys, is psychic power blasters. Anybody agree? I'm sure you do. We need people that have psychic powers 
so that we can go fight a whole planet and the whole planet should just have psychic power stuff. You know what I'm saying? Let me get this. Uh, I know, and you can. I just always feel that's wasteful. I mean, and I've thought about doing that to, to just build up Jammer. I'm going to just tell you. I talked to one of my friends, and I was like, hey, I might get a uh, real level, low level Mind Force chip and just uh, have somebody fry it out on me while I just heal myself so I can get some Jammer up. But it's so ped wasteful to have to do it that way. That's that's like my only problem with it. If it didn't seem like I was... I, you know what I mean? Like they legitimately... A planet, just a single planet or a moon in which the inhabitants use mind force. Or a couple instances. I mean like just some instances, right? Like, at least a couple lower-level ones. They can even make them mid-level, you know, whatever. But I think that it would make sense. I know. That's what I think, too. I'm not into the zappy zippity without any, uh... Without any stuff at all. You know what I'm saying? That, that seems like a really bad idea. I want the skill... And so I'm not going to say, hey, look, I don't not want the skill. Um, the reality is, though, I'm going to just keep on mentioning that my narc should add some mobs to have mind force. And on top of that, they should have mind force and they should have the ability to heal themselves. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, some mobs should be healers. Can you imagine if there were a group of five mobs and, like, two or three of them were combatants? And just two of them were like um, healers. And they were just going to use bio regenerus on the whole group again and again. And keep them up while the other guys pounded you with mind force powers. Absolutely would be different. And so I think that they have a whole bunch of room for more tactics being used. And actually, just to be honest... With some of the normal mobs that are like troops and soldiers and stuff like that, some of them really should be able to heal themselves. You know, like calculated in, you know, blah, blah, blah. But if there's any healing machines that are on their list of drops, maybe incorporated into the programming where they heal themselves, I don't know. But I really want Zap with Mind Force, and I don't want it to be wasteful where I'm just zapping another player with Mind Force. I waste enough stuff, trust me. If you guys have watched this long enough, you're probably like, holy crap, how is he so wasteful? But I have I have lines, lines, guys. By the way, I hope you're all having a great freaking day. It's pretty good here. Got a bunch of blueprints rolling in. No, I do enjoy this game. It's super fun. And on top of that, I've seen too many people um, worrying too much about stuff in this game and not just having fun as a game. In which, honestly, guys, the best advice I would give anybody in this game is to keep it a game. Don't invest kinds of money that are like a business or crap like that into it. Just like, you know what I'm saying? Because then all of a sudden, it's serious. You can take serious losses. You, yes, can make some gains. That's great. But at the end of the day, it's much more fun when you're just playing a game and having a blast. And then if it turns out that you do make some money and you do start making gains, which can happen then that's a different thing. But I watch people too early on literally decide that they think that the focus of this game needs to all of a sudden be some absolutely unrealistic outcome that, that just spoils all of the fun they could be having. Like, you're not going to go from like 
I don't know, two miles an hour to 90 miles an hour effortlessly in a single, like, second. And it's the same in this game. Like, if you want to get up to a speed and you're relaxed about it and you don't care how long it takes and you're having fun so that you're going to be able to maintain playing for a long time, that's totally different than people that sit there and decide that they're just going to dump as much money as it takes to try to force their way somewhere as fast as possible. Um, you can totally force yourself. You could totally buy your way like very far into the game, spending an immense amount of money in which at that point, maybe you still enjoy the game. I mean, I don't know. I, 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 I don't like to... Uh, I think that it's not a good idea. I think just chilling, relaxing, enjoy the game, and uh, have fun at it. Learn your own niche. That's another thing. I don't never just hunt every mob, but once I found mobs that I thought did well for me, I hunt the crap out of those mobs. I don't. I don't try to find new things you know what i'm saying i do to a point but i know that anytime i want to find something new i'm going to literally end up having to pay some kind of exploratory cost on it and i'm okay with that because eventually it does get back but but don't just like come into the game trying to spend ten thousand dollars into making your guy return ten thousand dollars because like you could pay, spend ten thousand dollars, and you could totally get your guy to be cool as heck. But then, like, I don't even know how many years you're gonna have to play before you get that ten thousand dollars back. It for sure will not freaking happen overnight. Yeah, I just see too many people not enjoying a game that should be super fun because they make it about the amount of money instead of just having fun, like. Legitimately, some of the best times I've had in this game were like social stuff, like mothershipping and stuff like that, and BSing with people while repairing a, a ship or flying around or just random stuff. Like, it's exciting to be out there hunting big time and stuff like that, but that literally probably shouldn't be 90% of your game. I mean, it can be if you have unlimited money. That's totally awesome. But I spend much more of my game socializing and sweating than people probably realize. I just don't do it on my stream. But on Cyrene, legitimately, I sat in a tree, sweat weeds pretty much all day. On Rocktopia, I sat, I sweat like haters all the time. Just down that road from that little... Um, I can't remember what it's called. I haven't been on, on Rocktopia for a few months. Um, on uh, Next Island, I go always to Ancient Greece and I uh, do Cyclops, as, as funny as that is. Um. Oh, Terps. Yeah, Terp hunting is, for, is massive. Terps are very popular. My buddy Deepwater... He's always doing terps. I actually have not done them, but he, this dude right here, this guy's a terp hunting machine. Uh, yeah, that's a very popular one. Um, on, um, what is it called? On Tolan, or Toulon, I um, do the, uh, crap, what are they called? It's at the jelly zone. I like to sweat the jelly zone there, guys. Oh, I'll pull up Terps, guys. Yeah, Mawcots. Mawcots are great for sweating. Don't do it where everybody is doing it, though. Go to the jelly zone, guys. Yeah. It's 
straight up, the jelly zone is the better place to hunt the Mokots, unless you're just trying to strip through that thing real quick. But on top of that, they're better for sweating. Terps are right up in this area. It's this weird looking, looking ugly, like it wanted to be a cousin to an Aatrox, but it didn't get any of the threateningness of it at all, creature. In all honesty, they're kind of ugly. Look at this crap. Do you know Terps can't damage you guys? Like legitimately, this, this thing's so... Has 10 HP, and their danger level is zero. As in, like, they have no no danger level. They're not going to do crap to you. Like, they can't do crap to you, in fact. And then look at this stuff. I'll show you their drop list. It's actually not horrible. So, the one of my buddies, Deep Water, he hunts the crap out of them. Um... And I, I don't remember what all he's always after. But he he gets the crap out of these. And they're actually one of the better. He wants them though. He'll just sweat them, kill them. Sweat them, kill them. Sweat them, kill them. All day long. I don't know what this graph is that this right here. I don't see that often, guys. I don't know. But yeah, they're basically right here. That's that's where you have to go, guys. And yes, the small ones straight do run away, which is supposedly not not cool. Um, I have not got the turp hunting started yet, even though my buddy told me about them, and, and you've mentioned them too. I do know that they're super easy. And uh, basically, you just roll in there, sweat them and kill them, and pull stuff off them. And they, like, legit give you all kinds of crap. And so, they're a low-level, sweaty one. And they are Planet Calypso. And then, uh, Monria. I sweat those those ugly, like, distorted mutant-looking things. I don't even remember what they're called right the second. But I don't do a lot of sweating on Monria. Yeah, yeah Yogs. I think I do Yogs, but maybe... No, yeah, that's what it is. So Goths. I think um, Yogs are the ones I have sweated before, though, too. So, here's the deal. I haven't done enough work on Monaria hunting and killing-wise. Every time I go to Monaria, you guys, it's specifically for the crafting mission and stuff. It's not for anything else. It's... It's, and I, I guess I did do a little bit of stuff. I've, I've codexed a bit. Not, not much, though. My codexing on Monterey is really shallow. It's one of the other planets. Oh, but then I found out about DSEC, right? Okay. So DSEC, I like. Um, I'm not the biggest Monterey hunter dude. And mining on Monterey is not fun at all. I, I don't like it at all. It's actually no fun. But, um... Which isn't their fault, I'm sure. But it's just not my cup of tea. I like my, like uh, mining Next Island. I like mining Tolon. I like mining Rocktopia. Cyrene, I'm freaking good at mining. I actually know where stuff is. So I'm like, boom, boom, boom. But it's not like, uh... Hey, let's see if we get our butt kicked or not. Yeah, yeah, they are. And I, I'm not, I don't feel the vibe there. And I don't know what I'm going to pull that I'm going to get anything good. Even on this planet, I don't mind just anywhere, guys. I'll show you this. So if you go down to here and you go over to, I always have to base it off of Silver Ridge. So here's Silver Ridge, right? By Royal Club. Here's Silver Ridge. So right here, this is Outback 11. And this is Outback 6. These two places are places where Dunkel has been found and is an actual thing. This place right here, Outback 12, there's Zinc. Like, it's easy to go find Zinc. If you're on the Zinc mission 
and I'm going to just tell you, if any of you guys are currently working the mining mission where you're trying to mine the zinc path, Outback 12 is a zinc area. In fact, you can find zinc even in this PvP zone area throughout here. Um, over here and over here are dunkles slash you'll find some other, you'll find a bunch of random stuff, but dunkles what you're going for here. But only if you have a machine that goes deep. And I mean deep. Don't, don't, if you haven't looked up stuff, don't go there. This is a whole bunch of Argonauts. They're like 6th level, maybe 7th level, something like that. Really low level ones. Um, this is some crap, but I don't remember what it is. It's not anything big. It, it's weaker mobs, you know what I mean? Well, I don't know why I consider them. They might not would be considered weaker mobs to everybody. Five voids or something like that. It's some something like that. Then there's several other locations that I'll, I'll do, but literally, I, I, I don't just mine randomly everywhere. Over the years, I picked a few locations and mined them enough that I kind of started to get a sense of uh, where and what things are and where everything is there. I also like this mining area over here. Now... The thing is, see, there's too big of a map. If you just mine a new place every day, you'll never freaking have a chance in heck of knowing what's going on. You know what I'm saying? And so, once I find out that, hey, there's a good spot to hit, like right over here, the Sophie's Crater, a long time ago, I used to hit this area uh, all the time. I can't remember specifically what I was going for, but it was something I crafted at that point, used it. And so I would go mine the crap out of that. I would keep whatever um, I was going to use. And then I would take and wait till I had enough of the other stuff and I would sell it in the auction. Because I, I didn't want to take any losses. And so I used what I could. But when I couldn't use it, I tried to build up a pile of it and then sell it. That's not too complicated, but you know. We're stacking blueprints, though, guys. And when I drop these on the other stacks, then we'll see where we're at on things. But you need a pretty good stack of blueprints for it to have a guaranteed sell. By the way, Cutie Pops, literally, almost always here also. Like, freaking craft the crap out of stuff, I'm going to tell you. It's all they pretty much do. I mean, they obviously do a few more things, because they've got some agility points and stuff like that, but predominantly, they just craft. They do need another moon, though, guys, and they do need to move Calypso, and they need a new planet where Calypso is. And it should have a different theme. And the moon should definitely have a bunch of Mind Force users. Crap tons of them.
it's kind of insane how many blueprints I don't have for how many blueprints I have. So, like, look at this component two book, right? So you've got, this is why I'm always, see, I need this, guys. If anybody does know somebody that has a Mechano Matrix Adapter 1, um, I absolutely really need that. I don't even know what to say about it. <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out how to get one. I've been actually trying to figure out how to get one for a while now. It goes into some weapons that don't exist because I don't have a copy of that. Like, legitimately, there are weapons in this game that I would make. I don't remember what ones they are right off the bat because it's been years since I've been waiting for this one blueprint. Mechanometrics adapters, they do, I think. I can't find some. I, I, a dude has one. So every little while, a dude will drop, um, like, a stack of so many in. And then he will uh, mark them up to 600%. But he's always, like, a big stack, right? To where, like... If on that day, when he drops that, you were paying attention and had 600 freaking ped in hand and jumped on it, you'll get him. But he literally doesn't drop stacks very often. There's 600% markup, and it's like 100 freaking ped worth. And I mean, like, good for him. That's awesome. Oh, you know, I haven't asked Fargo. Fargo would be like the best chance. Uh, he'd be a good chance. Uh, so there's an exotic items broker. Let's see if they're even on. Let's see. Jeez, a lot of people are on. Yeah, I'm looking for my exotic items broker. It's like Frenchie or something like that, guys. Well... French is in the name. I'm going to tell you, there are so many amazing freaking people in this game, you guys. If you guys play this game for... And this is why I'll also tell you, the re, Fargo's not on right now. Oh, any... Okay, so... Foxy Pilot also is absolutely excellent pilot. So some of these people in here... Still play, some of them don't. This girl doesn't anymore. Who knows who does anymore. Um, yeah, it's a neat game. But okay, so back to where I was saying before I got real distracted. I'm fast distracted, guys. So let's look at this, for instance. You've got all the way up to tier 15 components, right? So that's why I was trying to tell you guys. Like, most people have no clue. Like, it, it, it really goes up. And since I only have, like, up to a Tier 9 weapon blueprint or some crap like that, and literally, we all know how many blueprints are not found. So by Tier, what, 2? Are we at 2? Oh, crap. This is why I was trying to start here. Boom. So I'm missing all the Mechanometrics adapter stuff. Missing some of that stuff. Advanced cooling system, I don't use, but I'm missing that. You can see what I use and what I don't use. I've made some of those these guys, but only for like once in a great while. It's very rare, just so you guys know. The NB even needs that kind of stuff. Um, these gel batteries. Batteries are like, people end up needing batteries more than other things. But you see what I mean? I'm missing tons. So everything up there, we're missing. The whole thing. And it's the same with all this stuff, guys. It's it it's not that even with the amount of blueprints I have, I'm missing most of the blueprints. That's what I kind of try to tell people. Like, I actively am always attempting to find blueprints even. Right? But each blueprint goes towards different blueprints. And so, like, 
And until you're running one of these higher level blueprints, you're not going to get some of the higher, higher level blueprints. But we're missing like well over 50% of the weapon blueprints. Like well over. Like, you know what I mean? I maybe have... What would you guys say? Well, I have crap for percentage-wise. And in all honesty, have never even seen a huge amount. Of, there's that Nana Katana I've been talking about, though. You guys know that's going to be sexy. I do have a lot of blueprints, but I'm pointing out, like, I'm missing most of them. That's the point. Like, most people... Like, has anybody ever, ever even seen a Mount Montgomery anabolic? I have never seen that. Ever. Don't have a freaking clue what that is. I assume it will kick your butt. That's just an assumption, guys. I mean, it might not. Thor, I think that we need. See, here's all your, 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 your whatevers. Have, I've never seen somebody pull out Odin's eye. Okay, I feel like it's selling Odin's eye. Okay, uh, this the determination. I see that all the time, guys. Like somebody does make those and sell them. They they sell them for a good amount. Um, this genuine desire to clone GDC one one seven. Personally, I've never seen that. I'm sure it kicks butt. It sounds like something that would be fun to hit somebody with. You've got this gauze rifle right here. That's probably beastie. The Montgomery Diabolic. Never seen that either. Then you get up into this stuff. Thor's Hammer, right? If Thor's Hammer sucks, somebody should get fired from their job. That literally should be really a good weapon somehow. I wanted to do something neat. I don't know what I would do. Somebody has to actually discover the blueprint. By the way, you can get like the blueprint discovery on stuff it's super hard to do but you could do it you could be the one here's a adapted force mace you have to put together a crap ton of stuff to make this by the way it's absolutely ridiculous kind of hey i hope you're having a great day enter origins username here i like that it's kind of wild a little bit opportunity right it's a tier 10 weapon of some kind. I have never killed somebody with opportunity. I've never been killed with opportunity either. I don't know anybody that has this. For our son, uh, that's probably going to do some stuff. A magma beamer. What the crap on that, right guys? That has to be fun. Then we get all the way up. What are we at? Are we at tier 11? Yeah, tier 11 blueprints right here. And so, who knows what goes, right? This is another giant gauze rifle. It probably kicks the crap out of dudes. That's what I'll bet. I'll bet this gauze rifle does some damage, guys. Geotrack H8 or H66. I don't know if, what that's going to do. Geotracks. I have stuff for all these geotracks. I'm going to tell you, this is the problem with geotracks. Geotracks are often the weapons that need the mechanometrics adapter guys that's the problem like i have geotrack blueprints like even the limited ones and stuff a lot of them they end up totally needing uh stuff that we don't have this by the way mar peckers these are awesome weapons that's a good weapon gesture d this these are both good good blueprints for running to pop blueprints but you can sell these these i don't know if i'd sell those <clears throat> okay, so then let's let's look at uh, tailoring. Now, obviously, my tailoring t book hasn't changed at all, so I haven't done big runs of tailoring, guys. You've got your... Oh, this is the ones that you have to run. Basic pattern. That's why uh, when we looked it up. Let's look at that, guys. Hold on. Basic pattern shirt. I was wondering why why I, I, I didn't put enough T's. It'll, it'll find it anyway. I was kind of wondering why the blueprint, or blueprint list didn't look good. That's not right. Guys. 
I'm pretty sure it drops more stuff than that. I want to disagree with their list, but I don't have a video on either one of these guys. And most of the, the things I know about these two blueprints are from visiting with other people that run blueprints. And so, you know, that's one of those situations that I don't know if I should argue with what they say or not. I find that most things, though, pop more blueprints than what they're listing. Yeah, I, I don't know exactly how to create a thing. Maybe on some of the larger runs, if they don't have anything on a blueprint, maybe I'll, I'll start helping them update it. I actually have never messed with Wiki like that. Oh, yeah. Koto Curtain totally does drop. And you can get short coat curtains from the Lesser Elysium really easy also, just so you guys know. So right here, the blueprint we just got, Tesla Pod, I would never sell this. This, this is a zero sell blueprint. We're working up to where we can properly uh, deploy and, and do the Tesla Pod. So I will show you this. They don't actually have it. Um, the info on it, but I'm going to show you why this Tesla pod blueprint is a 0%. We, we would sell that, guys. There. Okay. Yeah. That's what it looks like. So the Tesla pod texture. Tesla pod. Yeah. So the Tesla pod texture is super like insane. So I'm eventually going to get up to where I'm a 28th level texture applicator. I know what, what you're thinking, right? And then this is why I always tell you. Um, okay, so then we're going to get Firewall 3, right? Which makes us look like some kind of Cobra Commander Terradrome combat dude. I love Firewall 3. This is super pimp. And then we're going to get 60 plates, right? And 60 electric plates with Firewall 3. Is going to allow us to hunt this guy. Now this is a later thing. That's the Tesla pod. We want to be able to hunt the ones all the way up to wake alphas and stalkers and fierce and stuff like that. Where it's up here. Which means that we want to have a 100 electric block right off the bat. These dudes just do electric damage. Obviously, seriously massive electric damage. They're a ranged combat, so you get dodge off of them. Highly aggressive. They will go after you. Here, let's look at this. I want the skins because I'm going to be able to put... I'm going to... I don't know what I'm crafting. It's going to be epic i mean like let's just be honest so you could get all this stuff out of these guys i mean some of this stuff's wrong i'm sure let's just be honest but like basically it's a good list i'm not even after that stuff i'm sure some of it's amazing i'm after these and i'm gonna codex them like that's gonna be awesome but there is stuff that I could get too, besides like the fact that I want the, the cool hides. I mean, but yeah, we're going to codex all the way through them, all the way through them.
It's gonna be a, a like a some kind of epic, epic thing. I'm really excited about that. That's that's a later on. That's not a right now for sure. But that's why I don't get rid of Tesla Pod. I have a whole bunch of it. This grooved metal, guys, I do sell all the time. Like if I stock up too much of it. I just get rid of it. And somebody will always buy the group metal texture above that. That That's actually not right. When you put a whole... Uh... Oh, I don't even think I have the horn high texture blueprint. That's the trick is you, you you need to find who textures what on which planet. You have the Hornet hide off of uh, Cyrene. Is that the one you're talking about? I, I kind of know that there's Hornet hide textures and I know that there's Hornets on multiple planets though. Is the, the thing. Ark. Oh, I really don't know that one. Guys, let's see. where Where is my Arcadia blueprint book? see what I have here guys I don't know what I have so let's not so one I have a whole bunch of wooden floor textures from Arcadia so right now I'm not really heavily doing Arcadia because I don't I'm not gonna be back there for a while do I have it at all what is it called The Hornet. Do, do they have a specific name? Do the Hornets have a specific name? I don't have crap for this planet, you guys. Look at this. <coughs> I have all the board ones. And normals. Oh, I have the Hornets. I do have it. Holy crap. It, yeah, you have to know that it starts off with Arcadian. Okay. I have it. It's basic leather. Um, I'm not going to be on Arcadia for a while is the problem. And I don't like to just build up a bunch of stuff on Arcadia. Have you not run any of the textures? Do you not run textures? Selling things in trade chat too, by the way. A couple ped. I would I would honestly tell you. Oh, you don't craft. Um, things sell easier in like 50 ped allotments and stuff like that. Especially when you're on an off planet. And most of the reason why is because it costs like two or so... Um, had to fly over to somebody's planet and so you end up having to build up a lot of stuff or have to have a, a reason to fly somewhere and two pad worth of something isn't enough to make a crafting run and it is literally it always takes about one hour oh okay well how much you have how many pad in it I will buy it off you at the end of this at at the whatever the rate is on it. Like I'm not going to be on that planet for a while. And that's just reality. It's just not going to happen. I would probably run them through just because. Oh, so you have more than just a few. If you have 13 pet, how many units is that? Let's see what we could get. So that might be a good deal, guy. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Oh, I'll check. I'll tell you how they look. Let me find this. Where did I just lose that? Okay, Archean Hornets. Oh! Yeah, so that's enough probably. How, how many units is that? I'll, I'll buy them from you. Um, we have at least... 
not not quite an hour, 30 minutes maybe or so like that before this runs over for sure. But I'll, I'll buy those off you. That's enough to make a run. I thought you were like having literally a couple ped and we're on Arcadia. And, and that's not the same thing at all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 600 units is a run. I would end up with stuff off of that. Um, it's not the right planet, so we won't see what we would get on Arcadia. But I could see what we'd get on this planet. It wouldn't be today, though. It would probably be a different run, in all honesty, just because I stream within certain times and stuff like that. And then we wrap up. But I'll buy them from you today. And we can make a plan. Oh, and I could just put them in storage. And maybe we make a plan day to where we go there. It gives different results on different planets. You you will never, never, like, I've ran the generic texture on each planet. There are core generic ones that you will get. Like, I can pretty much get a generic texture off of a generic texture on almost any planet. And I can get some of this other stuff on some of the other planets. But no. If you... Um, well, I, I can't trade until this runs over, but I'm at... Um, what is this place called? I'm here all the time. You'd think I know this stuff, right? Athena Spaceport is where I'm at. But, yeah, straight up, anything you run, like the gesture, I get different stuff on different planets. The the combustor, when I run it on Rocktopia, it's not the same stuff as when I do it here. It's 100% um, fascinating. Like, you, like, get... A, a plethora of different things. I haven't got to run all my main blueprints on each planet. Like, I've never done a combustor run in ancient Greece at all. I have no idea if it could pop anything. Because are there even ancient Greece vehicles? No idea. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, wolves are used for a ton of different clothing. They're also used in um, filters of different types. There's a bunch of different mechanical filters and stuff like that. They'll take wool in them. Um, some of the Sirene missions have you craft a couple random things that have wool, but I'm not really sure what they are right now. I burn up wool, though. So if you're trying to work up your um, tailoring, and uh, maybe there's other tailoring missions, too. But Sirene has daily tailoring missions. And it has one that you can do right off the bat. Oh, you get Rocktopia blueprints in Ancient Greece? Oh, that's Pimp. Rocktopia blueprints are freaking amazing. So, I'm going to tell you, guys, if you ever get a chance, Rocktopia has amazing blueprints. The problem with their blueprints is that they have very unique subcomponents, right? So then you end up having to get all the subcomponents that are for all of Rocktopia's stuff too to make anything. And then on top of that, the stuff that goes into their subcomponents is Rocktopia's type stuff. Heavy, like heavy, heavy. And so like to make any Rocktopia stuff... You literally have to sit there and be like, I'm going to go make this. I'm on a quest to make this. And it's this whole ordeal in which you got to go and you got to mine the stuff, craft the stuff to craft the stuff. And it, it's not so easy. They have amazing, amazing stuff there. But it's every time I ever get an amazing blueprint off of Rocktopia, crafting it is its own freaking epic quest of it. I mean, it's just wild, to be honest. Oh, yeah, no, I, I, I get you what they are. That will be a cool one. And I'll absolutely buy it. I'll even pay the 150% markup zone.
I'm okay with that. I'm trying to always figure out who's who. I'm going to go to um, Arcadia eventually, guys, to specifically treasure hunt. Oh, so see, I've ran both these Halix. This is a low-level one, guys. Um, that's straight up, and Gallards are low-level. Gallards is how you get a really good red on something. How much do you have of all these? Do you, do you know? Oh, yeah, I, I've seen Gallard before. Gallard is a feathery texture that's red. It absolutely works good for lettering on stuff and, and other things. I would grab those from you. Legit. Yeah, would you would you add up add up the, what what the the cost with markup is and stuff? Oh, I don't do Noosel. Let me check out Noosel Heights. I don't even think I have a Noosel Blueprint. Carabar. You know what? The one I'm trying to get, you guys. I'm trying to think if I have anything with this texture on it, guys. I don't have the texture. I'm, I can't even think of what it's called. And I don't have an item textured in it. So guys, last time I was on Next Island. I uh, acquired some kind of green texture. That I then made a fancy helicopter. Let's find it. Get off that stuff. We're going to go into here. Okay. I make a lot of Entropy Universe helicopters. I probably should have put purple or something like that. Or my channel. Okay, that's a perpite. Was it a year ago? Could it have been a year ago? No. Guys, I might have. I might have been on this. this part. Oh, oh, we don't want all this crap. Whoa, 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 whoa. For the larger stand. They bombarded us with stuff. I'm trying to think. Did I make a purple helicopter in this? This is the wrong one. Okay, so guys, basically, there's a purple helicopter that I made at one point, and I made it have a lime green thingy-majiggy, right? And the lime green color on it was way freaking cool. So, um, I want to get it. It was low level to put on to something. It's like literally like Mountain Dew Lime Green, guys. I already have this Midas Tree one. It'll sell. We'll put it in there for five pet buyout max. Oh, this Cora Dose thing, I'd probably sell it for one pet, but I wouldn't want to. I don't know about that one. That, I mean, I have one already. So it's kind of... What can you do? What can you do?
How big of piles do you have of stuff? I'm almost afraid to mess with your piles, Debug. Hey, do you know which 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 um um texture I'm talking about? That's the lime green one and stuff. Oh, good, good to know. Well, then maybe I would want your textures. Yeah, there's a lime green texture that's off of Next Island. Legitimate. Looks freaking awesome. I've le tried to find a dude with it when I was there. I even tried to bribe somebody off. I know. You can't always bribe people. You can try, though. Oh, it's one that I'm going to get. I'd actually go back there and try to make another run at it. Honestly, maybe that's what we'll be doing. Guys, I've got to unload and sell the textures and the blueprints that we have already in storage before we go off on another interplanetary mission. Like, legit, if I don't kind of keep up on the, the market part of this game, we end up being in trouble. It is. It's amylite. That's it. The amylite texture. Watch this, guys. Thank you. I'm going to get this texture. This is super cool. It looks super good on helicopters. And, uh, it, it is, yeah, it's super good looking. Hold on one second. Let me retype this. I'm going to let you guys know. Oh, WTF. Okay, if I get this texture, I will upload them a video or, or a picture of it or some crap. It is Amalite. I remember that. So let's find out if we can just find Amalite, the, the stone, because it'll be probably the same color of it. So it, it looks good, guys. Oh, I'll check it on Google Image. Oh, that, oh, it's green. Hold on. Okay, Google Image. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Legit. So you guys can kind of imagine that if you throw this lime green on a helicopter or a vehicle, right? And then this fancy with the purple stripe on it, right? It looks super good, like super good. And it's not just helicopters and there's other combinations and options and the stuff like that. But that Ammonite one, I'm gonna get that. Like, legit, I, I mean, it's off of Next Island, if you guys are wondering. Um, it, well, it's a cool one. We need the blueprint. So I tried to buy it off of somebody that I thought had it. They told me they didn't have it. I'm sure they were telling the truth on it. But um, that left me not knowing actually anybody that has the blueprint, really. And in all honesty, besides somebody that owns a store, there's a dude that owns a store that he obviously does have the blueprint. Um, he's not going to be on the list of people that like, hey, let me sell my money maker. You know what I'm saying? And so like, and if I got it, I'm not saying I wouldn't put stacks of it. If I had the materials easy enough, if it's easy enough to have as a consistent... Because you can ta uh, texture it low level. It's the same as that perpite. That perpite texture is low level texture. It's not high level. You, you can like, boom, be crap low level and bust it out, guys. Absolutely an amazing situation. But yeah, that's the one I need. That amylite texture. 
in which if we can get a hold of that, that'll be uh, a super sweet deal. That'll be like... I would go hunt the materials with you. I, I, I like Next Island, you guys. I just don't spend enough time there because it's so far away from the markets over here. It really is hard to just be like, let me fly across the galaxy for over a month at a time. And I like to be on a planet for a month. I don't like to be like, oh, I flew over there for the weekend. Because honestly, you don't get enough of anything. Like, a whole month of hunting, you can have some piles of stuff. You can kind of know what you're going to use them for and stuff like that. And then that's enough stuff that it's worth being like, let me get a hold of a mothership and let me have them fly me back. But, like, just the weekend does not work for me. I've never got enough stuff to need to fly back a mothership. Oh, yeah. I I get you. And, and, and that is going to be a situation on that area. In which if you know the right crafters. Or if there's a surge on certain types of crafting. That's the other thing people don't realize happens all the time. Um, that like there will be like. A fad almost thing happens sometimes on a planet where all of a sudden like a bunch of dudes are on a planet just running the crap out of a certain blueprint. I don't even know why it happens. But it does. And uh, but to be able to do that and wait for the next big hey a bunch of people are flying to that planet and they're crafting the crap out of that. You have to eat setting on all that ped and I hate freaking doing that. I don't, I don't do that at all. But we are attempting to get more powerful on some things. And any cool texture and stuff like that, I actually usually do use to just texture something. In which that allows me to uh, make cool items. Oh, Caldone. It's a good basic starter blueprint. You can pop a lot of blueprints with Caldone. Guys, this is one that you get to pop blueprints with. Oh, yeah, Firebug's setup is fancy, huh? Yeah, I, I, I noticed that. Got the fancy fairy-looking wings and the... I don't know where you guys are, but I... Oh, right there, that's why. Okay. Yeah, Firebug... Dev Bell card, that's also a good basic starter one. Guys, this is all stuff that's good starter ones. Yeah, this, 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 and the nice sight one are all the ones you use to start. And then Sopra is great too, along with the generic leather. Burkite is great for starting. So also, Burkite looks cool on helicopters. Yeah, my helicopter might be Burkite textured. Let's look. Yeah, it's going to be, maybe. Let's look at this. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> so yeah, this is going to be Burkite and something else. So see this fanciness? That texture, right? No, no, that's Sopra probably. This one's not Burkite, guys. This is Sopra, maybe. Uh, let's see. What does it say I textured this with? Oh, that is Burkite. Guys, I lied. It is Burkite. This is a Burkite. Now that, now that I know it is. Burkite looks pimp. See the, the how that looks like a battle helicopter? Like that? Now, I don't know what we put through the strip right here. Obviously, something different. What was it? It's all Burkite? I'm really shocked. I usually don't do them in a solid material, guys. This must, must be the, like... 
Oh, yeah, I have tons of Burkite. I'm very lucky as a, a fruit finder. What did I texture this with? Let's look at this. Got always. Caldone Supra generic leather. This I made so long ago, I sucked at it. Look at this. Barely any texture on this thing. I should actually sell this. Make myself a new fancy one. We'll wait a little bit more till I have better texture control. I'm I'm good, but we're not we're not where I want to be yet. Okay, that looks good. Looks good, guys. Uh, yeah, that happens a lot with the texture crafters. They take a break for a moment. There's the nice sight one that I was telling you guys. See there, now you have all of it. Nice sight, Caldone. This thing's cheap. Okay, so can I tell you, nice sights never worked well with me. Yeah, not oh, this sight. This one don't do on uh on tol on Toulon. Don't do it. It's not good. Go with the Supra or the generic leather until you pop one of their ones. And then I ran that Sunjock texture, honestly. And that was an excellent texture, too. A little bit expensive. I just hunted Sunjots until I got it. Say, this one will sell. We'll sell it probably two pet. We're getting dang close to being done. Yeah, it just kind of... You can make a lot of uh, blueprints with just a few blueprints. Don't go and waste a bunch of pad buying a bunch of blueprints in the auction house. If you're going to do a skilling run anyway, you know you're going to end up eventually having to skill or at least work up a blueprint. And so get a blueprint that you're wanting to work up. Get a blueprint that's cheap, common materials, right? Run the crap out of them. See what blueprints you randomly get. Then note to yourself which ones were good and which ones were crap. Anything that's crap, over time, you're going to learn what's crap. You're going to sell it to the auction house. I mean, not the auction house, but the TT tournament. And that's basic bearings. Basic bearings are always crap. Unless you don't have a basic bearing blueprint, and then you will. Do not buy one. If you craft any random thing at all, it seems like, they're going to give you a basic bearing blueprint eventually. So don't worry, you'll get one. If not, ask me. One day I'll, I'll, I'll make a run of something random. I will have an extra basic bearing. I probably have some accidental extra basic bearing that just slipped through my fingers of trying to TT them all. Because they're that freaking common. And then I can't remember what's common on every planet, but you know, basic bearings are common on multiple planets. And they shouldn't be so common. There's literally no reason for it. Like, switch out 10% of the basic bearings with one of those mechanometrics adapters. That's what they need to do. Let's get some guns online. Because there are a bunch of guns that you just can't make because of little things like that. Where like a dude or one or two dudes controls access to uh, the full flow of, of that subcomponent. In which I get that. That's cool for them. That's an excellent position. You know what I'm saying? Just like every couple months, drop a hundred pet of something out at 600% markup and be like, boom. I like it. I'm not doing it. But uh, I do get it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not talking smack about it. I think it's absolutely a brilliant business position to be in. I just 
legitimately, I have a bunch of blueprints that I have that I would probably craft if we had those. And it's very hard to time the market and get those. Especially since I'm not on this planet all the time. And so I miss the, the thing. Because it, it, it's an item that comes into the market on Calypso for sure. See, there's your Burkite right there. It's a good one. So you can see the generic leather texture would have would have got us a lot of blueprints right here. Or did get us a lot of blueprints. Is getting us a lot of blueprints. Yeah, see, there's the carpentry and stuff. Uh, it's always good to see this. Uh, during a leather run, you're only going to get texture related. Yeah, if you run a texture, textures are mostly what you're going to get. On the Lesser Elysium, by the way, and on a few different blueprints you get some some random stuff that's not necessarily but um reality is that you for the most part get the type of blueprint that you're running except each planet has its own list and some other stuff there are though exceptions so like there are some things that drop on tolan and i are too long that i remember not being a texture like I got a couple random things that I didn't expect to get and so literally each planet has its own drop list and you would have to run a blueprint multiple times on a planet to know a planet's drop list but for the most part you'll get the type of blueprint of the type of blueprint you're running within plus or minus of four levels of of the tier and so tier one blueprint might pop a tier five but it's super unlikely it's probably going to pop the one two three and four and a tier five one can pop all the way down to a tier one one but it's probably going to pop two three four five six seven and eight you know what i mean type thing and so uh but they pop their type Plus or minus so much. Like on this, this is a tier 1 one. And I don't think we've got anything over a, a tier 4. In fact, consistently, most of them are tier 4. And so they might be using some kind of standard deviation model. Like, you know, the, the cat whiskers thing. I don't know. I'm always curious what model they're using. It does look like the dispersion is is that we got the most of ones then about half as many twos i don't know i don't know guys maybe we need i'm not going to start i was about to say some crazy stuff about maybe we need to start taking some technical data on this stuff uh, that that'll absolutely unfun the game so fast so we're not gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna focus on not doing that. I am gonna let you know that we're likely to be on Planet Arcadia sometime next week. So for one, in all honesty, I have a lot of friends currently on Planet Arcadia. For two, with the acquisition of all this, we might just fly over there and check out some stuff. <coughs> First, though, I think I do need to go over to... Oh, sh crap, guys. We have a big list of stuff to do. Yeah, I'll figure it out. I don't have an exact plan for next week yet. I'm being pulled to two different planetary directions, plus we have two more plates for our Imperium officer plating to be finished. On our armor set.
Oh, no, you want to go to Cyrene. Like, no, like, if you're hesitant on, on go, getting off planet and going to a planet, don't frickin' be. I will fly you and drop you off or whatever it takes. You you do not want to hesitate on, on going to Cyrene. I will fly you and I will drop you at a specific mob. And I will f watch you flourish level-wise like never before. Just gonna tell you. And then after that, depending on what you're doing, you're gonna want to go to some other plans. But straight up, if you're hesitating going to Cyrene and stuff like that to grind, that is a grinding planet. Oh, it, it is a, a daunting planet. That's how you know you're going to grow. So, so it's one of those planets that you can establish some serious stretch goals. But their missions are not a joke. Like that um, Zora's mission. That's going to take you for freaking ever to do if you're really going to do it. But there's amazing sweating on Cyring, And the daily missions are absolutely worth doing. I mean, I get the, the hey, it's an overwhelming planet. But I'm going to let you know that if you actually really start learning and learning about all the planets, they all are pretty deeply overwhelming if you know enough about them. I mean, like flat out. I know I don't know a ton about all the planets just because I know a, a little bit more about certain ones of them. And I have friends that really are experts in other planets. And it puts it in perspective very quickly that like if you pick a planet and you really immerse yourself in it for about a year or so, you, you end up knowing so much stuff that's kind of shocking. It gives you an advantage. Every one of the planets has some kind of advantage to it. I just have worked the crop out of specific ones so that I know what that advantage is. Um, and, but I'm not confused on like the other planets are good too. I just don't know their stuff in and out to where I'm like land and I can just run over and shoot a few of these and get this item, get this item, make this and put it in the market and sell it. Uh, that takes a lot of time on a planet to know that stuff. Plus to get a routine circuit down where you've looked up all the missions. You know exactly which mobs and stuff like that. And which missions you're going to take every day. And you're literally working a circuit for like 30 days in a row or so. Then you take a little break and you do some like vacation stuff or whatever. <coughs> but yeah, you want off planeting. You definitely, definitely do not want to just. Next Island is absolutely fun. And can I tell you what? Ancient Greece is a blast. I wish that they had Hydras. I mean, that's my biggest complaint. Is that there's no Hydras. And there's a few other things. I mean, like, I, I want a few other things added. But Hydras are a big complaint. I, I, I want... Like, going to ancient Greece and not being able to kill an, a Hydra is kind of a bummer. But the Gorgons are way cool, and everything else is neat there, so. And honestly, they have some good armors up there. Like, higher level ones, especially. I'm going to flip us to where we're, we're enabling... Um, game capture, video device. Oh, Papu. Papu or what you want to kill. And something else. I can't remember what else. I'm trying to think of what it is. Um, it's the stuff to, to make the perpite, guys. Yeah. Look at all this stuff we got. We're almost done. We're seconds for being done, guys. Hold on one second. Let me look over this stuff too. 28 point.
double check it there. Okay. So we're going to check our statistics. Our statistics might not be perfect. That isn't perfect. 42.5 is actually really good. Um, obviously, we got crap tons of stuff, right? 58 Tesla pods. The Prancers will probably maybe keep. All of these are sellable. The thing is, we probably don't have big enough stacks. That is actually not great recovery, probably. What we say, we, we're burning 8 pack per click. We'll check the recovery. Because I don't want you guys confused on if this was good recovery or not. It, it might be. I mean, I just, I don't want to say that it is. Okay, it says that we used 120 ped. Um, so basically, if I can get like... 20 or 30 pad out of these blueprints up here. You know what I'm saying? We're broke even. If not, we're not. I'm going to show you the magic trick here. After after I take care of this. I'm going to get these from him real quick. Oh, wait. I'm going to need Sam here. Where's Sam? Sam? Oh, yeah, Sam. You don't have this TP. We'll go to Sam real quick. Then we'll take care of this at Sam. I forgot Sam doesn't have this TP. Sam, where are you at, man? And then I'm going to show you guys a magic trick with some training stuff. I'm going to come to you at... Uh, for, for Cyphus, huh? Okay, I got that one. Do you know... I've called this thing some names before. I won't go over which ones. Oh, you don't have to spell it right. I've called it some profoundly the wrong name before. Oh, there you are. Boom. This is a good for... Are you killing robots here, guy? This is a good for it. Awesomeness. Okay. Clicking. Oh. Okay, I know that mission. Now, I'll show you why we want to acquire stuff so bad, too. We're going to go back to Athena Spaceport. You guys are going to be impressed with this. I think you'll be impressed with this. Piglets are good, too. I like all the stuff on Next Island. It's fun stuff, but the little um, papa of a specific level are the ones that I actually have to hunt to get the um, the uh, perpite stuff. There's a stone, a crystal that comes off of them, right, that you refine it, and that is what you get perpite for. And perpite texture is highly valuable. The stone itself is like 600% markup too, by the way, if you guys are wondering. But a vehicle set up with perpite is, is super valuable. Now, I'm going to show you a trick here. I'm going to show you guys how to level. This is not even just leveling texturing. This is also you can level coloring the same way. Now, reality-wise, a lot of people think, hey... If I want to level texturing, I need to actually texture something of value in which then they're buying like clothing and vehicles and stuff like that to texture. I'm going to tell you guys, do not do that. What we're going to do is we're going to buy two texture blueprints. They're limited. See how that's customizable, customizable with the C, right? Boom. Guess what? We can resell those to this right back. At exactly five pack, or five ped two. So right, we're not going to spend any markup. Markup's bad. If you don't have to spend markup, why would you spend markup? Okay, next we come into here. We grab my texturer. I'm sure I thought I had it somewhere in there, but you know maybe I don't. We go like that. We go in here. We grab this book. I'm going to let you know. We're not qualified to do this texture, so let's look at that, right? We're, we pull this texture. Let's pull 500 of them. 500 of them is worth 25 ped. 
So 25 pad worth of texture. Let's look at the thing. And this is any texture or any color works the same way. So we're not qualified to do it. It doesn't matter because when you texture something, whether you're qualified or not, if you do not care about the outcome of the texture, like the end result of the item doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. You're going to get the skills and you're going to get exactly 95% of your money back, right? And so let's go 25 pad, right? times 0.95 I'm going to get 23.75 uh, ped back when I click this button over here watch this crap and I might get a, a, a texture enhancer which those are super super um, important watch this though guys 23.75 oh I'm, I'm sorry 22.5. What, what was I wrong? So maybe it's 90 something percent. I don't know what, what percent. But I think you guys get what I'm talking about. Let's see what percent that was. 22.5. 25. 90%. 90% okay, back. I apologize. Now, that's a good deal right there, right? So we just textured that book. But the, here's the deal. The other comes down here, and it drops the skills. And so that's where we get our texture pattern matching and a whole bunch of stuff. And if we look at that tool, or if you guys Google that tool, because I already switched it where we can't just look at it as easy, um, you would notice that those that machine itself gives a plethora of little random skills like that. And so then we take this, go like that, boom tells us we're not able to do that we say we don't care what you say we would like that money and the skills and so we get skills and we get money if you drop bigger amounts and in all honesty I've had better luck especially if we grab like a, a 100 pad like or a 1000 unit group and 1000 units is the highest you can put through by the way um, if you drop a 1000 unit group it seems to have the highest percent chance. That guy has pimp armor. That fire freaking wall three right there. Are we looking at her? Yeah. Larry. Larry, Larry. You have nice stuff. We're going to say Larry has pimp stuff. Larry's styling, guys. We won't talk smack about that because that guy has good stuff on him. Okay, so we're going to take these books because we actually didn't need them. We are just basically burning through that stuff to recycle it into skill. Take and drop them in there. Boom. Now over here, we come back over here. We then take all of these blueprints. This is all for later, guys. This is... And we merge them all. See how that has a whole bunch of them that are already in stacks. And we check. Do we have anything that's big enough stack? That's not crap. That's not 500, you know, units. Has to at least be five ped worth to even be worth at all putting in the auction house. In which none of those are of that amount. Now, here's one of the things, though, that is, is why that is. Is because on these, I just recently reorganized this stuff. And one of these is absolutely... Um, going to be textures we, we just we're kind of working through these books on selling stuff guys that's that's exotic clothing and stuff that's different that's specialty stuff that's furniture that's stuff textures right here okay so there we go like this so we have 2000 some of these canvas textures those sell at like 300 something percent we're going to pull that out and we're going to drop it on there i'm pretty sure we got more canvas textures than that yeah so that that's that sufficient hey let's sell that so we got canvas textures off planet obviously too right where is this at C 
See why we have to keep this under control? Well, I'm not I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this because but well, I have to move and merge these all together. I'll I'll take everything out of the book and drop it on here. There's the canvas ones. So we got 2000. We go into here, right? We then split that. We're going to sell exactly 2000. We're not selling the off amount. We'll drop this I'm going to merge all these over. I'm not going to do all of them right now because I obviously have a whole lot of organizing as we work through my books to, to fix everything. But you guys see how it works. We then take this. We go into here. We say sell. Um, nobody else is going to be selling that many. Let's look at who is selling. Nobody's even selling any of them anyway. We can get 350% markup likely on them. Um, let's start it out right here. I'm okay with that. And let's go like this. 70 pad is our buyout on it. That's a totally reasonable buyout. We're going to go like that. Boom. Just like that. 100 to 350 percent markup and so but then i have to actually go and i have to merge over all those blueprints and stuff like that and in all honesty we're already setting at a, I guess a diminished amount this you guys yesterday this was two pages of stuff it looks like we've sold a huge amount of the stuff right now i'm going to load more i won't load it on stream right now because that's kind of boring but I'll have to go through all the blueprints individually. If we have a stack of 1,000 or 2,000 of it, we then check and find out, well, what is the overall markup on that and such. And um, Or if I'm keeping it. Yeah, this guy's Firewall 3, I'm pretty damn sure, you guys. Check Larry. I'm hoping he doesn't get offended by this, but we're going to check Larry out. Larry's looking like he has good stuff. Oh, look at this guy. Larry's a gunner. He's a shooter of people, guys. I'm, I mean, not necessarily. Look. Oh, this is necromancer armor. Oh, I'm freaking even more jealous, guys. I mean, this is this is not as good for what I want. But necromancer armor is super pimp. And he has B5 plates on necromancer. This is highly versatile, guys. This this is straight good armor. If I had necromancer armor with my plates, I would probably, yeah. Okay, so that's not the the armor I thought he had, but that is necromancer armor. And that's seriously high grade. That that's good armor, guys. Larry there is a serious guy. He has good armor, and he's level forty something at shooting things. That's how we know. Okay, I do want to thank you guys for hanging out real quick. We're going to go in here. We're going to make sure we find somebody to raid over to. Let me look at this stuff real quick. Find. I always have to find somebody that's doing the game that we're playing. I like to try to support somebody else all the time. It's hard to find somebody that's consistent. Um. Miss Watson's consistent. I trust her. She's a good show. You guys will like her. If you guys don't know Miss Watson, she's epic. You guys will like this girl. Seriously. Um, no problem, man. You guys have a great day. I hope you guys have an amazing actual weekend, too. Peace and very best wishes.